This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Welcome to the Mayhem Underground, the show formerly known as... In Week 1! Yeah! I am Mike Sorgon, Sorgatron on the Twitter here at the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania with the crew with us tonight representing Night of Lucha Underground Episode 3, Season 4, Three Way to the Grave, hell of a show with some interesting circumstances around how some of us watch it, but with us, he is the only one on the Mayhem roster that they feature Endeavor Letter from the WWE. That is fact. Why you need to put that in your shot so we can like like show that off and, and prove that. Mad uh, Mike from Poughkeepsie, New York. Oh man, Sorg. This show is gonna be the death of me. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was new- or a cradle to the grave joke, so I, I went with that. Um, and also that other voice, he's of course uh, from Long Beach, California. I almost said Long Island, California. That's not a place I don't think, um, or maybe not a place you want to go woo, as woo. much. No, woo 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 <laughs> woo woo. What? <laughs> uh, <laughs> but Al- Alex Cars of Occupy Pro Wrestling, Shakar in fifteen, and that sweet Lucha uh, Legends of the Lucha Temple you can get on what a maneuver. Uh, is joining us tonight. Uh, How you doing, sir? I'm doing great. Uh, when uh, when Mad Mike mentioned Cradle to the Grave, the first thing that came up to my mind was DMX and Steven Seagal. So X gonna give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, oh meet me outside. Yeah. So interesting circumstances that pisses off Mad Mike once again because he's now uh, flanked on a show where people are experiencing Lucha Underground time warps, where Alex has seen in person and a season four ep- uh, taping, and I happened to watch episode three almost a week in advance, thanks to Comcast On Demand uh, postings. Thor, it almost ruined my cruise. Oh. It almost ruined my cruise, knowing that you were seeing an entire episode of Lucha Underground before I was, and then I realized... I'm going on a cruise, and then I was okay. Yeah, you know what? It was something to make being in Nebraska a little more tolerable. And Nebraska, Bermuda, they're basically the same. And we talked about this on Mayhem Show last night. I was wearing, I wore, I brought my Lucha Underground shirt for just reasons, and I walked into a Walgreens in downtown Lincoln, Nebraska, and the guy was all of like was geeking out that he saw a Lucha Underground shirt. And, uh, you know, talk about, I think he knows like the city knows like Thunder Rose, Cobra Moon and stuff like that. So that was a really cool Lucha Underground connection, uh, the Lucha Nation uh, happening out there, too. So I hope he's uh, tuning in because I gave him the, the links and stuff. Uh, so what's up, man? Um, but anyways, nice to know there are corn husker believers. <laughs> it's good to know. Huge underground following in Nebraska. <laughs> says ah, in the literal, <laughs> literally. Yes, yes. So cradle. Uh, I want to say cradle to the grave. Fuck. <laughs> so cradle to grave oh, match. Sword, uh, sword. No, 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 no. Sword. This is how we do the show. Sword. Oh Come yes, on. yes. I'm sorry. I'm the Come newbie on. here. You know, just because you're all fancy with your with your Xfinity shit, just because you're fancy. Doesn't mean we do the show any different. Sorg, qual es tu palabra para Lucha Underground? What's your word? What's my word? Yes. What is your one word for Lucha Underground? My one word for Lucha Underground is... It's almost like you've forgotten how we do this. Yes, I did. Because this is episode three, and it's the first time we've done a normal episode. This Um, is true. Yes. Uh, My word is flowers. Okay. All right. I like it. Alex, qual es tu palabra? My word is cash. Oh, okay. Would you like me to explain? No, 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 no. no we'll no. get into it. We'll no, get we into just it. leave I, it. We just leave okay. it. Like the speculation. We just we just put them out there. Um, my word for this week, me palabra, is Horcrux. Horcrux. Motherfucking Horcrux. It's a goddamn Horcrux. You right? Yes. Okay. I'm sorry. I got excited. Because I've been pitching Harry Potter spinoffs of Lucha Underground since season one. 
<laughs> we and know you're listening. I'll be goddamned if they didn't just throw a motherfucking Horcrux on this show. <laughs> okay. Are we talking about the doll? No. No? Well, I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember. We'll, 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 get, we'll get there, sorry. Okay, we'll get there. Right. Okay. Uh, it's your right, show. So, it's your show. Alex, we'll start with you. Qualis tu bueno part of this week of Lucha Underground. What's your good? Oh, man. There was so much. I uh, know. You only got to pick one, though. You only got to pick one. All right. Well, I hate to pick the easy way out, but I got to go with that main event. Yeah, it was great. It was really good. <laughs> it was really, really a lot of fun. The main, the main event. So good. Three way to the grave. Like, I wasn't sure if it was like elimination style or if it was like they both had to be in the grave at the same time. So it was like a timing thing, but they spaced it out pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was tripping out a little bit because as I was paying more, as I was paying attention to it, I kept seeing, I realized, oh, there's actually three coffins. Like there's three caskets out there just in, just in case. And each one of them has a likeness of one of the wrestlers. So like when Crane gets eliminated, it's pretty and rest in peace, Crane. I was like, hey, that's, that's <laughs> deep. Yeah. That got me yeah. deep, man. Yeah. I, so, 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 this is not the first three-way casket match I've seen. Wait, what? The, the, because I've seen one. We talked about this before. I know. I know you've been there when, when I've talked about this. Uh, one uh, Logan Shulo, Elias uh, had one in the Vicious Outcaps wrestling back in the day. Okay, this right. is the one where he hit some. He was going by metal, heavy metal Jesus. He hit somebody with the cross from the top of the casket. I think they only had one casket. Um, and he like ended up hitting the one guy with the cross and then baseball sliding the casket shut on the other guy winning the match. Oh, Jesus. Mm. Okay. That's, uh... Yes. Heavy metal Jesus. That was his gimmick. Now he's, now he's Elias walk with him. Um, so, so to see this version of it, it makes more sense. It's very Lucha underground. Um, and I really wish they had heavy metal Jesus as a part of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. He, He's too busy fighting CrossFit Jesus. Now. That's true. So, that is it's true. A, it's the battle of the Jesus. Oh, we didn't have Elias last, this week on Raw, did we? No, we did <gasps> not. That's another reason why Raw was unfortunate. That is. That um, is. All right. So, Sorg, enough about Raw. Fuck that <laughs> show. Fuck that show. Back to Lucha Underground. Sorg, qual es tu bueno? Besides the fact that you got to see it a week early. Oh, yeah. That was my good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> person i borrowed a comcast login from um uh so <laughs> i i i think my best is because again i love the surprises of the new and i'm so sorry i can't remember his name uh jack evans opponent exolicious exolicious was yes. the right kind of weird and different and awesome that you get from this like we got this crazy dark match that uh -huh. we're expecting right that's like oh my god what's gonna happen it's these guys They've been insane against each other individually. We're going to have this thing. But then you get Exolicious, like, basically stealing the show for your attention. Yes. Right? Um, um, it, it, this, this just goes to it. So, I know you were doing an interview, so I know you didn't see my um, my new headcanon about Exolicious. Mm -hmm. um, my new headcanon for him is that Aerostar went to the future. Brought back the child of Ruby Rod from the Fifth Element. Yes. And trained him to be a luchador. Yeah, that that's that's my new can head I, cannon for him. I definitely want to see more Axolicious and Lucha. I, I really hope that, that he's a a long going thing. Yeah, and he got a win too, which bodes well for him. Mm -hmm. Bodes well. So definitely. Yeah, yeah, no, no, that stuck out. And again, in a show where I think any of us could have said uh, that 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 grave match. Um, though I I think he stuck out. Yeah. Um, mi bueno this week. Oh, Ricky Mundo. Oh yes. my god. Oh my god. Valley of the Dolls. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I'm it's so bigger, glad. Bigger. I'm so glad I'm not working at a toy store anymore because that shit would give me nightmare fuel now. Uh huh. Uh huh. And and I need to know who the voice of the doll is. I, I need to know. We have certain people who watch the show. Please inform me. Slide into my DMs. I need to know who this is because it kind of sounds like the voice of beautiful Brenda. 
<laughs> I know. I'm no, I'm sure it's probably not. I just need to know who it is. Can because just, that, voice, that voice is going to haunt my dreams. Speaking of the backside and haunting things, um, I, since I wasn't on last episode of this, I want to say um, um, Jack Swagger now. What What is his name? Jake Savage, is it? Jake Strong. Uh, Savage Jake Strong. Ja- Savage yep. Jake Strong. Perfect. Perfect. Like, that's exactly <laughs> what you needed. Like, to get him, like, un-Jack Swaggered into something else. Um, he wins the medallion next week on the 4th of July. Yes, please. Oh, geez, yes. Please. And he just has a lucha flag. Just a yes. lucha flag. I, I got to see, I, we got to film Jack Swagger here in Mean Me? for IWC. Oh, lucha. Exactly. <laughs> we the believers. We the believers. We the believers. Yes, let's make that happen. Uh, but man, he just uh, was 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 draped in an American flag and looked like he was having so much fun. And uh, this is this is just perfect for him. Mm-hmm. All right, but as we know, not every show is perfect. Not even Lucha Underground. Uh, so Sorg, if you had a Malo this week, what was your Malo? I want to say the creepy doll because it's fucking creepy <laughs> and it's gonna give me nightmares. <laughs> I think that's the obvious thing. Okay. Okay. All right. That's fair. Now you know how I felt when I first saw the Rabbit Tribe. So. Yeah. <laughs> what is his name? What, what is his name with the, the checker checker guy? Oh my god. Malasorte, I, had... I think. Oh, yeah. I thought it was Saladar or something. Oh yeah, Saltador. 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 Oh man, we need if you haven't get some uh, Everyone, pictures of Mad remember. Mike. Get pictures of Mad Mike with and, and just Photoshop Saltador in the background stalking him like I did for a little All bit. Right. No, and, fact, and please no, tweet those true. at Mad Mike four eight eight three on the Twitter. Take a picture right. of the creepy doll and Photoshop it in the back of Sword. Yeah, no, well, I, well, it works for you too, buddy. Yeah. Uh, whoever yeah, you want to creep out, uh, go ahead and do that and tweet uh, at Mayhem Show, and we'll uh, uh, file it in the in the appropriate mailbox. If you really want to creep out, Sorg, put the picture of the doll on the Rusev Day calendar oh, and shot. No, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no. I just realized I forgot to check if it was Rusev Day yesterday. Hold on a second. It's oh, still- it's still Rusev Day. Yes. We're good. We're good. We're good. Uh, all right. Uh, so Alex, what was your uh, Qualis do Mala this week? Uh, my uh, my Mala is the fact that uh, uh, I I don't I don't know, man. About uh, I don't know what to do about uh, Matanza Cueto now. As uh, <laughs> with he was at least a little bit of a man. Now he's 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 all monster from what we what we're gathering. In my head canon, he uh, he he had an encounter with the turtle puppet, and now he's gone a little soft. <laughs> that that's fair. That's fair. I yeah. can see that. Uh, if you've listened to the last two weeks of Wrestling Mayhem show, you know what we're talking about. And it's Bobby um, J Town's fault. I yeah. guess. I just feel really bad for uh, the next uh, 20 or so people that Matanza is going to be facing because <laughs> he's going to be a completely different beast to deal with now. Mm-hmm. It, it's really interesting. I love that the key was a Horcrux. Like it contained the last part of his humanity. That's like, because last week it looked like that Matanza and um, Antonio did not have the strongest of relationships. Mm-mm. But the, we're getting new layers to Antonio Cueto every week, and I really, really dig that. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know, like I said, I was a little kind of not sold on him. It's kind of building on me, you know. Like, I feel like the over makeup up cheese factor is a little strong with this one. But, again, it's like, okay, we're getting a little bit more to this, you know. Uh, I, yeah, I'm, I'm building into it. I, but I, I knew I, I would, you know, like to be honest. Well, I mean, I'm all in with him, especially since he called me out during the last week's show. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. What did he say? He said, how do you know so much about what's going on over here? I uh, can neither confirm nor deny how I know the inner workings of the Cueto family. Mm. I can confirm why, how I know that. Fascinating, isn't it? Yes, quite. Uh, <laughs> um, Meemaw this week is... Um, that we didn't get more of the worldwide underground mm. <laughs> because that opening segment. Oh, th- this is going to be a really fun feud. <laughs> I, I, I want it all already. 
Mm-hmm. So as per usual, my bad in Lucha Underground is that we didn't get more of something. <laughs> like, uh, it just, it really, now, Sorg, I, I've said this before, just based on the trailer, but now I'm really starting to believe my own theory. Johnny Mundo somehow wrote a backdoor sequel for Boone in this season of Lucha Underground. Yeah, absolutely. I think no. I think it's a series. I think they're trying to get a Boone series on, on. Uh, I mean, think about the first Thunder in Paradise movie, Indiana Boones. Mm-hmm. Why did it have to be snakes? Sure. Yeah. Sure. You know, Boone too. Why did it have to be snakes? I, I, I think I'd love. I, I just got a picture in my mind of Boone the Bounty Hunter becoming like the McBain of Lucha Underground, where you see clips of, of it. God. from time to time just on like a television set uh, and it becomes that running gag of like it's a show within a show or a movie within a show you can even scream mendoza <laughs> yeah i do i do that almost every week on a different uh show uh because we got a guy named mendoza in nxt i do that every time he's on a match oh, mendoza <laughs> Oh man! All right. Uh, so we got our good. We got our good. We got our bad. And now, um, I'll kick it off here with our combios. Uh, if we could change something with Underground this week, what would we change? Me personally, I thought like I loved the match. I thought the ending to Three Way of the Grave was a tad anticlimactic. Really? For everything they had set up, I I thought Phoenix was put away a little too easily. Like that's not the right word, but I, it just seemed like there could have been a little bit more fight to it. Mm-hmm. Like there, there was no like there were no false finishes for Phoenix. Yeah, like I, that was that was the only thing. Like again, this is the tiniest of nits to pick. Like it was a great match. It was fantastic. Really good storytelling with Melissa Santos ringside, with the return of Eva Lee, who we didn't even talk about yet. Eva Lee auditioning for the reboot to misery using a fucking hammer on oh jeez jeez like, and it looked vicious it looked so you, vicious it really did like i i had never seen any of sammy callahan stuff in the indies mm-hmm. my first introduction to him was nxt and he was very lame and toned yeah. down nope but oh yeah in Lucha, i'm like oh okay this is the guy mm-hmm. this this is this is who he is. Okay, mm-hmm. I got it. Mike, Mike, that's that's the guy I filmed. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, I just thought the ending was slightly underwhelming. But that's very, very, very small details. Mm-hmm. Um, something that that I would have changed. Like, we're still in setup mode. Remember, Mike, we're still in setup mode for Lucha I, Underground. No, I'm well aware. We're yeah, still yeah. I mean, and I think I think even like looking at the. Uh, the, the the Aztec warfare that started it, it was, I felt like there was a, something a little off. It's because like, holy shit, we started with Aztec warfare and it's setting things up versus yeah. being a a you know mid season plot point, right? Uh, so th- I think that was the like like going in cold to it seemed weird. Going yeah. in not cold, but like, oh crap, we're getting wait, wait we're going right into grave graver consequences. Yeah. So I think the thing is. We're doing all the stuff that we're used to in this because holy fuck, what do they have planned later? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking too. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking too, and I'm and I'm I'm here for it. And be very I'm careful. I'd be very careful because I was just looking up some stuff because I wanted to get a recap to refresh my memory on on this episode. Sword. And Oops. research Lucha Underground. Don't don't that I don't know. I saw a listing for up to episode eleven with the uh, descriptions. Sword. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't Don't do do it. it. No, no. It's just, it's not safe even to properly just say, I just want tonight's episode recap. Um, but all right, hold on. Hold on. This is, this is a, because I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to prepare for the show because you got to see it last week. I understand. It's not like Friday night or Sorg, Here's what you do. You have to be very, 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 very specific because I've had to do this before. Mm -hmm. They've been Lucha underground results. 627. You have to type in those specific things. Otherwise, you're going to get was like season four, episode three. Like this has to be it, right? No, just just type in the date. Just type in the full date. Mm. 2718. So 
old timey wimey. It's old yeah. timey wimey. Yes, it's all timey wimey wibbly wobbly arrow star barrow star. <laughs> sure. All right. So, so anyway, um, Alex, call us combio if you have one for this week. Let's see. One change, uh, kind of a follow up from what I said earlier. Uh, the only change I would make is I would seal in the cracks in the floor. That's that's it. What? Hey, what? You'd seal in the cracks in the floor? I'm just, you know what? I'm sorry. I, I just, you know what? Now, sorry. I, I, I miss, I miss saw something at the very end. I thought he, when he threw the key down. Yeah, we got you. Oh, there's uh, something going on. Something's happening. Matanza sorry. has broken no. into Alex's room. He's back. Okay. No, sorry. Um, when I, when I, when I was watching the ending, I thought the key slipped through the, like a crack in the floor. Oh, okay. Sorry, that that's what, sorry. Just to clarify, that my my joke is based on what I thought I saw. Then I realized I watched oh. it around and he destroyed it. It was so based it was on your head version of Lucha Underground. Yeah, it was my head cannon. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Okay. Alrighty, uh, Sork. <laughs> Sork, how about you? I think did I say? Oh. Wait, wait, wait. No, I started with Cumbias. What do we change? Um, yeah. um if, if you had to change something, I swear I just said one. Uh, no, if I had to change something. That creepy doll not giving me nightmares. <laughs> it's okay, Sorg. It just knows all your secrets. <laughs> oh, Jeez. God. All right. Uh, well, the one thing we didn't talk about is, um, oh, it looks like we're going to have uh, the Breaker of Bones versus the Breaker of Belts pretty soon. Yes, yes. Cage and Pentagon. Uh, looking forward to that. Um, I We haven't seen a... L- have they mixed it up before? Uh, I believe here and there. Yeah. Nothing, nothing one-on-one, though, from what I can remember. Good. Good. But, um, holy crap, that's going to be fun. I'm glad we're riding with Pentagon as a, as a strong champ through here. Because, I mean, it was a long time coming. I think he needs to have it for a bit, um, you know, through this. So, no, I think that's good to see. Yeah. Um, I... I think they're almost putting him over a little too strong because mm-hmm. winning Aztec warfare and then beating Matanza, like mm-hmm. that's okay. Okay. But I, I'm glad to see him like taking down a pen again. Of- it's a little bit of like, what are they making room for? Right. Right. Like what's worse than Matanza and Mil Mortes? <laughs> yeah. I mean, a, a man who you literally can't break the arm of that. that could be up there. There you go. There Not go. a man. He's a machine. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, man. So, uh, so, um, uh, Lucha was fantastic. Yeah, it was. Lucha was fantastic. And we can't even do like ratings or anything because we're not comparing it to anything else. No, we're just, not. No. It's just going to win. Yes. It's just going to win anything we compare it to. All right. We're episode three out of 21 weeks. <laughs> oh, oh man i i i'm so excited to see what comes we didn't get a preview for what's going for what's coming next week which yeah, there was no about. announcement for next week or anything uh it was it was pretty cold out but we, i mean we had a little bit of i mean i, I thought it was interesting because you had evilly's very and not evilly's um katrina very interested in, in phoenix's coffin uh you know obviously just talked about a little bit of motivations for that and uh and uh uh in, i the glitchy, the glitchy uh, Kat- Katrina thing was kind of interesting leading into this. <laughs> yeah, but it's like she's clinging on to life at this point, which I mean, now like, I love Antonio's rationale. Like, if I give you this match, that means you'll have to knock from now on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like he's very practical about it. I'm like, OK, all right, that's, that's, sure, we'll do it. Like, like I, I expect more reactions of them. I was like, what kind of weird thing have I gotten into here? Right. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously he should be aware of all this, but still was just like, there should be more like, like this place is just odd. Like what, what have they been doing here? Like half the stuff he he's heard about, he didn't think was real, Mm -hmm. which is amazing. Mm -hmm. Like, but he he's he's a he's a good straight man too because uh, when Jeremiah came in last week, and Antonio's like you'd really put your life on the line for a woman, 
and turn around. I was like, "Have you seen her?" He's like, "Good point. Yeah. <laughs> Good point. Like, okay, I get it. I get yeah. it, bro. Yeah, yeah. There's like, there's there's very clear motivations with him, mm-hmm. which I guess is, is is refreshing. And this is like part of the things that are growing uh, on me about this show. I mean, there are very clear motivations of Dario too, but well, no, but, but Dario was very smarmy and it it manipulating around and this guy just very straightforward it's like yeah okay i i get it yeah yeah go ahead and do the thing you know <laughs> like 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 he's not like he's not fucking around you know no he definitely isn't yeah he's and, a businessman we can all aspire to be well <laughs> except for that i think well yeah and, and the having your son murdered thing yeah you know but apart from that Total peach. Larry thinks that uh, I think he said uh, it's Pentagon he's talking about is going to be obliterated at the end of the season. So build up mm. for it. Who's going to beat him, right? So, but we're also playing this thing because I noticed that last week because we're playing this angle where Vampiro is like, ah, oh, he, he's he's being too great with the fans, you know. He really should just just stick to being evil, you know. So yeah, that's well, what Vampiro, Vampiro's been saying that ever since Pentagon came out to the scene, though. Right, right, right. Like, but I, I'm because we still have the Gauntlet of the Gods floating around somewhere in time, and somewhere, space. somewhere, somewhere, and in the trailer, it did show Giant Mundo holding it. Mm-hmm. I need to know when it becomes Infinity Slam Town. <laughs> I need to know when that happens because holy shit! <laughs> Can't wait. Oh God! All right. So, uh, was there anything else we had, Sorg? No, I, that's everything I can think of. Great. Anything else you had, had, Alex? No, that. I mean, it was, like you said, it was just uh, really good. I, I, oh, I will say, I'm very like kind of what Sorg was talk, touching on. I'm very curious to see what uh, K- uh, Katrina has in mind for Phoenix in particular. It was like you know, it was one thing to have Crane put away, but she was really. She seemed very happy, let's just say. I hope Phoenix. we just have Mil Mortez flanked by zombie Phoenix and zombie uh, Callahan. I'd be okay with that. I'd mm-hmm. be on board. Mm-hmm. I'd be on board with that. I'm down. Or, or even if they're not zombies, they're just like like lifeless. Right, it's just like, you know, the idea of Phoenix being in a much darker place, for example. You know, yeah, it's because the callback to season two. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Alex, are you saying you'd like a Dark Phoenix Saga. Well, that's it for me tonight. All right, all right. On that note, uh, OccupyProWrestling.com. Check out that T-shirt he's wearing over there at What a Maneuver in the Occupy Pro what Wrestling section. Mad Mike is Mad Mike four eight three on the Twitters as well. Absolutely, and you can go to at Mayhem Show. Look for the hashtag MM for when I live tweet Lucha Underground, and occasionally Raw when I'm out doing things that are better for my mental health, like watching The Incredibles. Hey, that was good. How'd you like that? It was very good. Mm-hmm. Like honestly, if I had a choice between watching The Incredibles and watching Lucha Underground, I would just say yes. Yeah. I would just, I would just say put me in front of a screen and put whatever comes up i'll be thrilled with how was that intro short did i ask you about that last night yes i like it okay good yeah i was reading art okay, anyways that's the other show thank you everybody the latest episode of mayhem underground of course is on wrestling mayhem show.com we live stream it the schedule's gonna be here off and on here uh on the facebook page for the wrestling mayhem show uh this has been the mayhem underground formerly known as Big Week! Wow! This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.